Hi, this is Shadi, and today we will be discussing Kuzushi or unbalancing. Um, this is a very intriguing science, a very complicated topic, and this is something that you will constantly evolve in and learn throughout your judo journey. I, as a brown belt, uh, I'm going back to the drawing board, to the very basics, and see why am I having so many troubles with throwing someone, and a lot of the time it involves Kuzushi. Um, in judo, it is very much known that you unbalance, position yourself, and then throw. You unbalance in any of the eight directions you are seeing here in front of you. Hapo no kuzushi. Now, uh, demonstrations, nagekomi, uchikomi, they are known to be very idealistic. Um, there is no way in randori that you are able to lift someone up unless they are really lighter than you but usually in a competitive randori you only have to point to one of the directions and then throw using the sleeve and the lapel your body movement etc um i want you to think of a triangle this is something that my sensei explained this to me and it is crucial in order to understand kuzushi so you have a triangle it is connected to three points of your body your core and also both of your legs or your knees, depending how you are positioned. So anytime one of the, your body parts connected to the triangle disconnects, you are prone to throwing. Uh, allow me to explain. If your leg is disconnected from the bottom point of the triangle, you are prone to throwing. For example, the Ashibarai is why it is such an exquisite throw. If you are tilting forward with your torso, or any of the eight directions, you are prone to throwing because your core disconnected from the top point of the triangle. Anytime you disconnect from that triangle of any point or the three points altogether, you will be prone to throwing. So for example, if you have your legs disconnected, when someone lifts you for tomorrow nage, you are easily thrown because all your body disconnected from that triangle. So understanding the triangle is very important when understanding kuzushi or how to throw uh, someone. So it is general knowledge, even those who don't practice martial arts that will tell you when they're talking about martial arts is that the higher your center of gravity is, the easier you are to be thrown, as you see here in front of you. And the lower it is, the harder it is for you to be thrown. Uh, hence why, you know, shorter, more muscular judokas are having better chance of avoiding in Ippon. Um, hence why you see a lot of judokas saying the legs are the foundation, they need to be trained, the calves and the quads, the hamstrings, everything. Um, it is why, you know, it's important in judo for them to be trained. Uh, it is because of this very simple uh, and well-known concept of the center of gravity when it comes to being prone to throne or not. So uh, let's talk a little bit briefly about the history of uh, Kuzushi or why it is so important in Judo and that is from the teachings of Kitoryu Jujutsu. Ikubo Tsunetoshi, uh, one of Kano's teachers from the Kitoryu Jujutsu school, uh, really showed and emphasized this because in Kitoryu, Kuzushi is very important. You see it here in this kata and also in Kodokan, Judo's kata, Koshiki no kata. Here you see they are lifted up on the tip of their toes and then thrown backwards. Very similar to what we do in Judo today or the backwards throw of Hapo no Kuzushi. Um, here you will see they are thrown the same way but in a different direction. So. Uh, Uke proceeds to come forward, grabs Tori. Tori moves them backwards. As they are resisting backwards, they take their momentum that is forward on the tip of their toes and Tori sacrifices himself backwards and throwing Tori forward. So let's talk about Kyuzo Mifune's sphere concept and to understand why he was very hard to throw against you know bigger opponents so here he will explain the center of the sphere and why a sphere has never known uh never expressed or never experienced excuse me uh falling or unbalancing is because it is always attached to its uh center of gravity here the set balance is never lost In short the sphere is something that will never fall over um, by maintaining its center of balance it is able to produce 
infinite variation because there is no wasted movement from the sphere. So um, this is, uh, as a result, training that has spent more than 60 years in Judo. Tenth Dan Mifune discovered that his body is like the sphere. Uh, while leading training, he shows when he is pushed, turn, he pulled, go with it uh, on an angle. So uh, I have always talked about this when it comes to Kyuzo Mifune, where I say that Mifune actually is never thrown because he rides the throw uh, and then he is able to get back on his feet. I'll link the video at the end. Uh, and then he proceeds to counter his students. Um, this is a very important, uh, I would say, knowledge. And that is the knowledge of the sphere. So here, let's take a look at competition examples of Kuzushi. Here you see Kosei Inoue against a far larger Iliadis. Uh, twitches with Ochigari. Points him forward, tilts him, and thus... Uchimata is far easier to do. So here you see he twitches with Ochigari and then you know, Tobikomi Uchimata, because they are tilting forward, you know, the hands uh, pushing the sleeve and lapel, it's easy to throw a far larger opponent. Here you see against, uh, I believe, Zigara of Peru. Uh, look at the size difference. He tilts him forward. And goes to the side like a spin out with Shimata and then hops it through to throw him. So this is you know Kuzushi at work and explains you know a far smaller in a way throwing such a large opponent with Uchimata. Now let's see uh, here you see because they are tilting forward as they are still standing upright there's no way that Uchimata would have worked. So the hands of Inoue pointing forward and going to the side really helped. Dea Shibarai from Fabio Basile. So here, uh, Mahmoud Bekov had a dominant grip actually, and as they are disconnecting their feet from the triangle, as I explained earlier, it was very easy to be thrown. So, uh, whenever you are trying to unbalance someone, whether it is Nage Komi, Uchi Komi, I want you to think of the triangle. Obviously, the um, the way you are doing, where you lift someone up. It is very important to understand in, uh, I would say, Uchikomi and Nagekomi, the very basics. Uh, but in Randori, I want you to think of the triangle. I want you to think of disconnecting any of the three points of their body from that triangle. And you will see that it is very easy for them to be thrown. Uh, Kyuzo Mifune demonstrates these very perfectly. Essence of Judo it is a great... Uh, movie. I highly recommend you watching it. It is found easily here on YouTube. They are showing the ball. No wasted movement. Uh, I want you to go with the throw. Okay, this is easier said than done, obviously, but I want you to go with the throw and you will see that it is be it will be annulled. The same with submissions. They are rolling you over for a choke. Do not resist. Go with it fully and you will see that you will escape actually the tension of a choke or arm lock this is a separate uh, video maybe i'll make it in the future when it comes to submissions so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below uh, this is a very uh difficult topic and i'll try to make it as simple as possible so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below and also do not forget to check out the links in the description below this was shady and thank you for listening